Hey guys, Ed from Ed's Model Madness. Just wanted to do a quick video, um, show you what I got going on with my workbench here. Trying to finish up my Color Me Gone 2 Dodge 330 Superstock. Uh, this build is for a friend of mine, and I promised it to him probably two years ago that I would take this thing, I'd build it, you know, make it look good, and bring it back to him. I don't know how some of you guys out there do this. Some of my subscribers, y'all build hundreds of models a year. I can't seem to get one put together in two years. Uh, anyway, hats off to you if, if you're that type of model builder that you can just crank them out and you make them look great the whole time. This one's really trying my patience. Seems like everything I try to do, it's like one step forward, two steps back. So, but you know, I want this to look really nice when I give it to my friend. So maybe that's the reason why it's just taking so long. I don't know. You guys be the judge. Let me know what you think. So you lose things all the time, or is this new for you? I don't usually do that, yeah, so that's kind of new to me. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's that little sticker like that right there. It's supposed to go right there on the back of the rear fender. It's a badge. I can't even read what it says, even with my magnifying glasses on. Oh, it says Dodge, it's in script. So, yeah. So I knocked it off on the other side. I had put it on over there and I don't know what happened to it. You're making quite a bit of progress. Like I said, I got a timeline. I want to get this thing done by Thanksgiving. I realized a little while ago that uh, the little piece that goes across the back is supposed to be painted blue. So I'm gonna have to dig that out and paint it. And I gotta, I'm just gonna hand paint this little white section here. But you'd have never known that looking at the decals that came with the, with the thing that it was supposed to be. So, yeah. So, trying to make it as realistic and accurate as possible. You know, I should probably put some future on those too. This is still good, I guess. So, you're using future? Well, pledge, floor care. Um, it used, used to be called future. So, but yeah, it's. it's the same stuff, it's got the same, in fact it used to say pledge with future on the bottle. They've changed the label. So. What would happen if you spilled all of that on your computer right now? Oh. Would it be shiny? Uh, yeah, it'd probably be shiny and I'd probably be really mad. So anyway, I'm just using a Q-tip and dabbing it over the decals that I put on already. And it, all that does is it just seals the decal on so that it doesn't fall off or stick to your fingers when you're handling things or so I don't know if you can see but it's the 426 decals for the valve covers so but yeah it's it's coming along we're getting there um, probably uh, within the next day or so I think I'm gonna be trying to piece it all together. Okay, so I've got the chassis put together. I've got the interior in the car. I've got the engine in. I'll try and give you some of the details here. Um, see that I did ignition wires and kind of detailed the engine bay a little bit. I didn't go over the top on this one. Um, even though it is a build for a friend of mine, I just need to get it done and get it out of here. I'm getting very frustrated with this model. Um, but the decals are on. I've got a coat of, uh, well, I guess you can call it future. Um, but I got a coat of that on there to kind of seal decals. Um, I had an issue earlier. When I get it finished, 
I'll put some photos out um, of the, the completed uh, project and uh, then we're going to get it out of here and uh, get it to my friend so that uh, I can finally, um, I don't know, be true to my word, I guess. So, anyway, it's looking pretty decent, but I'm just, I'm so frustrated with this model. Uh, nothing seems to be fitting together very well. As you can see, I got this clamp hanging on the front end because the body and the chassis doesn't want to, uh, to stay together. And, and it's, it's just, I don't know, it's frustrating. So anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, if you like my, uh, what I'm doing here and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video if you like the content and hit the notification button. And when I put videos out, you'll be notified that I've got something out there for you to look at. Otherwise, again, appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the comments and all the uh, support you guys have been giving me lately. Thanks, and y'all have a really, really great day. All right? Bye.